everyone archana here when we talk about beauty every girl every lady out there wants to look beautiful and yes we all visit beauty parlors just to look beautiful when we watch movies we come across different actors and we feel wow they are so beautiful i wish i was as beautiful as her isn't it we also have come across beauty pageants like miss world miss universe and they really inspire us when we see their beauty but have you ever heard or come across the most ugliest women in the world and yes if there was ever the contest for the most ugliest women in the world would you like to be one of the contestant no right none of us want to look ugly right but here is the sad story of mary and bevin who from beautiful women turned to be the most ugliest women in the 20th century and she has won the contest for the most ugliest women mary and bevin was born in the year 1874 in london in a normal middle class family she was born along with her seven siblings the rest of the seven were brothers and she was the only sister mary and bevin completed her medical studies Once she finished her medical studies she became nurse in 1894 In the year 1903 she married Thomas Bevin She was leading a very happy life along with her husband and four children in London 3 years later that is in the year 1906 she was hit by a very rare disease called acromegaly I will explain to you what is acromegaly first At that time they did not know much about this rare disease acromegaly So this is a rare disease I, as I told you and is a kind of hormonal disease the hormones that help our body grow and develop this disease usually shows up when the patient hits the puberty and it makes the bones of the body enlarge that is 2 to 3 times bigger than usual this disease acromegaly affects 6 in 1 lakh people usually this disease affects only the hands or feet of a person but for mary this was quite severe as it affected whole of her body besides the growth of the bones as i told you in case of mary it affected whole of her body which means her organs that is her heart kidney liver everything so after a certain point of time our brain sends the command for our growing hormones went to shut down and therefore the growing process stops after a certain point the disease interferes and the growing hormones either stop much later or in some cases never stop this is what happened in case of mary and bevin that is why even her organs started growing today this disease can be treated if caught in time but during the 20th century the medicine wasn't that advanced even to know about what kind of disease is it but in mary's case Mary suffered drastic physical changes as this disease affected whole of her body. In next 5 years she looked nothing bef- like before. She was unrecognizable when compared to her previous pictures. But Mary suffered so much problems her appearance was the least problem for her. Here Mary's problems started piling up. Her appearance was the greatest problem but she took it very lightly. as her husband thomas bevin was always beside her who always helped her and never bothered about her appearance in the year 1914 thomas bevin mary's husband died from stroke then she needed him the most leaving her and her four children mary took all the worst jobs to feed her four children because of her disease and most likely her appearance she lost all her jobs it was very difficult for her to raise her four children debts were piling up she did not know what to do she had no solution for her problem and finally she was forced to join the contest for the world's ugliest women and of course as she has got a very bad appearance she of course won the first prize out of which she could manage to feed her children for some time so out of this money she could get out of debt and for a while she could manage to raise her four children but media also took advantage of her situation they gave her very less amount and they took lot of pictures of her so that they can use her images for horror story she had no choice but she accepted 
to take the pictures they used the same pictures for the horror stories and they wrote horror stories about her she was also invited to work at the dreamland circus in kone island in the year 1920 all this happened due to the media attention and all her pictures which they used for the horror stories this particular circus was well known for its freaks and she was well fitted with the rest of the people who were working at the circus but here too she went through a lot of problems but then she had no choice she only got job at the circus only because of her appearance people working along here were very cruel they used to call her with with ugly names she did all this because of her family just to raise her four children she had to walk a long way to get these shows done they used to call her a monster because of her appearance and sometimes she was also beaten up for the rest of her life she worked in the same circus and she took part in the shows till 26 december 1933 and later she died for natural causes mary bevin being such a beautiful lady who was hit by a rare disease this disease rare disease changed her whole life mary bevin won the ugliest women in the world she won the first place as the ugliest women but as a mother she never gave up she raised her four children by her appearance if there was a contest for best mother in the world of course it should be for mary bevin this was the inspiring story of mary and bevin mary being so beautiful but never bothered for her appearance though she was looking ugly if you guys think this is an inspiring story and yes it has inspired you as well do leave it in the comment section and yes share this inspiring story to all your loved ones thanks for watching this video do subscribe to the channel let's meet up in my next video till then take care stay safe stay healthy